The time is 6:10. The images of destruction from Hurricane Matthew may inspire you to give. Our Diane Lee looked into how to give wisely and make sure that your dollars and donations go far. The upstate shelters may not be full, but one thing they're full of is gratitude. It has been outstanding that um, people we got their way to help people like us in need. Gabriel Gadsden and his Aunt Beverly drove up from Jasper County Wednesday. One of 50 evacuees at this Spartanburg location now helped by Red Cross donations. If you're compelled to give, research how much of your money goes to the cause. 91% with the Red Cross. If you have stuff in your home that you'd like to donate, the Red Cross asks that you not bring it down to the shelters. Instead, give it to their partners like the Salvation Army or Miracle Hill that's used to processing in kind goods. So we've had a real problem with that in other disasters, especially Louisiana. I mean, you'll get mounds of things, and they don't understand the manpower that it takes, you know, to be able to sort, distribute, and store those items and make sure they're safe. Master Deputy Tony Ivey warns, watch out for scammers like charity impersonators. And he adds, don't be afraid to give to smaller organizations. For years, he's volunteered with Mission Haiti, even during Hurricane Tomas in 2010. You know, if an organization speaks to you and you've looked at their website and, and you look at how long they've been in there, by all means donate to a small organization because they could certainly use that money just as much as a large one can. Gadsden, grateful and hoping he can return the kindness. If you guys ever end up in a situ like, situation like, uh, like this, I would go out my way to help you guys as well. In Spartanburg, Diane Lee, 7 News. We have a list of several respected charities that are helping Hurricane Matthew victims. You'll find it in this story that's posted on WSPA.com.